So, how many of you guys been to the Dragon Factory? It is a mythical, magical, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful place where you guys get to see how dragons are produced. Just kidding. Um, we're going to be reviewing a book today, sort of. The Dragon Factory by Jonathan Mayberry. I have listened to the audiobook yesterday. Um, the dude that did the voice acting, his name is Ray Porter. Um, basically, uh, the book is about Joe Ledger and the DMS go up against two competing groups of geneticists. One side is creating exotic transgenic monsters and genetically enhanced armies and the other is using 21st century technology to continue the Nazi master race program by begun by Joseph Mengele. Both sides want to see the DMS destroyed and they've drawn first blood. Neither side is prepared for Joe Ledger as he leads the Echo team to war under a black flag. So... Uh, I was not going to mention the Nazi part until it said it in the synopsis. So, uh, zombies, bad guys, unicorns. Yes, I said it, unicorns. That surprised me more than anything in the world. Um, uh, clones. We're, we're producing like a whole bunch of shit and uh, Joe Ledger has got to he, he's got to go up against all of it because we, we got we got one group trying to destroy every other race every other race which threw me off guard I thought it was just going to be another zombie movie not a zombie movie but zombie novel no had a little bit of everything what surprised the hell out of me. Um, I can't remember the name of the fucking thing. Uh, the Extinction. I can't remember. It's called the Extinction something they're trying to build so they can uh, wipe out every other race. That way, the only race that is standing is all Caucasians. Sounds cliche. Um... And then from there, all the white survivors will battle each other to uh, see who will get control of everything. It's survival of the fittest. That's their plan. Um, for one of the bad guys, at least. Um, it was a great book, or audio book, voice act. I already knew coming in, Ray Porter doing the narrating, the unabridged version. I already knew coming in that the voice acting was going to be great. Um, it had a lot of comedic elements to it too. Now, when I say comedic elements, I'm talking about uh, being a smartass. Being cheeky. I mean, there was parts of the audiobook yesterday while I was at work because the uh, audiobook's about 16 hours. I found myself smiling from ear to ear, trying to hold my laugh at work. The plot is pretty, uh, I guess, unique. I wanted to say generic, but in a zombie in a zombie novel, where you got two baddie laddies, one of them trying to create clones, and the other trying to wipe out every other race, added a unique twist to it. I, I, I thought I thought it was I thought the whole audiobook was unique. Um 
I enjoyed it. It was kind of a, a left turn, I should say, from the first one with Patient Zero with it dealing with the uh, first zombie outbreak. But this added, I told you guys when I did Patient Zero that it gave me toward the end our Resident Evil vibe. Well, confirmation. I, I don't think I got much of a Resident Evil vibe in this one, but uh, I, I, I guess you can kind of see, like, with it having unique monsters and shit. But I enjoyed the audiobook. It was about 16 hours. It took me two days to go through. So. I'm gonna give it a. I don't wanna give all the novels that I enjoy like really high ranking or high ratings. But I, I really wanna give it. Uh, we'll say 3.8 out of 5. That seems fair because I don't think it was better than Patient Zero. Patient Zero, I think, was phenomenal. But. The Dragon Factory was kind of a, uh, I guess, a tad bit step down to Patient Zero. Only because it dealt with uh, different plots intertwining the, to one and didn't really focus so much on zombies. But, you know, it's Joe Ledger and his Department of Military Sciences, so I guess you could expect more than zombies since it is military sciences. And that damn thing needs to stop. I need to fix that thing. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Anyone who's read a Jonathan Mayberry book knows his style. Anyone who is new to Jonathan maybe or maybe has not read the Joel Ledger series and they're kind of hesitant, read up on it. Start with Patient Zero, then the Dragon Factory, and work your way all the way up. I've checked out the audiobook today of The King of Plagues by Jonathan Mayberry, which is... Book three of the Joe Ledger series. I read the synopsis on a lot of them. Um, they're all different. So that's that. I'm excited. I will have a audiobook review of that up on Sunday. And it looks like I can continue to do the Joe Ledger audiobooks. I think I'm going to try to do that. If I can uh, find the audiobooks of the novels available, if I can check them out and everything, then I'm good. I'm good. Uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Since I thought I was starting on Monday with day shift, uh, I, I'm on night shift for the next, next week and the following week, and then after that, I would be on days because I was told they can't pull me off on nights, which I think is bullshit. I mean, they wanted me ASAP, and then I'm being told different things, so I got to verify that really quick. But that's what I was not here to talk about. I was here to talk about the Dragon Factory and my enjoyment. I really need to come up with a um, unique rating system on how I review my books. I think I've seen um, uh, Common Spence did a video of him and his rating system, like how he rates his books and everything, I guess. Um, I have not watched the video, but I, I think I should watch his video. I am going to watch his video so I can kind of give my idea how I want to do it that way when I do reviews for audiobooks and novels. Uh, it is a little bit more fluid and it's easier to manage instead of like shooting straight from the hip and just going straight in like I'm doing right now like I said I'm not really good at reviewing 
I'm kind of getting to the whole review process where I do talk about the novel, but I'm trying not to give out spoilers. That's like one thing that I really want to do, but at the same time, I'm horrible at non-spoiler reviews. So, that being said, guys, y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.